Emmanuel Lojang radiates positivity. That's not always easy for a migrant on Lesbos. Lojang works as a volunteer in the Parea community center on the Greek island, which has been an asylum hotspot for years. The center here is run by NGOs. Lojang is helping with security, like here at lunch, and as a translator. He's from South Sudan and arrived on Lesbos five months ago. He's applied for asylum and for relocation to another EU country. He knows that many people here get stuck in the asylum process. Some are in bureaucratic limbo for years, even though the EU told us that efficient, fast and fair asylum procedures are critical. The hardest thing that we are facing inside the camp is only about the process. It's only about the process, the delay of the asylum process. And we have no any other option. We have nowhere to go. We can't go back and we can't go ahead, unless if you finish your process. The community center is right next to the migrant camp on Lesbos. For many of the people stranded on the island, the center is a refuge and a lifeline. They can do laundry here, attend classes, or just relax. Working as part of a team has given Emmanuel Lojang's life on Lesbos some structure and purpose. At first, I used to be inside the camp without doing anything. You know? I used to be inside the camp without doing anything, and I started experiencing a lot of stress, because just from morning to evening, I, I have nowhere to go, and I have nothing to do. So since I joined and since I started working here, I'm seeing myself, I'm comfortable, and even I'm happy at the same time. In South Sudan, the 27-year-old studied political science. He wanted to shape his country's future after a long civil war and worked for an opposition party and as an anti-corruption activist. That put him in danger, he says. He prefers not to give details. If you have any misunderstanding with anyone who is in the government, and the person immediately will target you and the person will do anything to you. At night, you will not sleep. Whenever you are sleeping at night, you will just you will not have a peaceful mind of sleeping because anything will happen to you. you know, anything will just happen just from nowhere. Emmanuel Lojang decided to leave South Sudan. He fled to Turkey and then found a smuggler boat to bring him across the Mediterranean to Lesbos. Summer has brought a huge wave of new arrivals here. Official statistics show the camp is already over capacity. Since July, more than 1,300 people have arrived each month, over four times more than before. The Greek authorities rejected our request for access to the camp, saying they currently have too much work due to mass arrivals. But the NGO Europe Cares, which runs the nearby community center, is concerned that the situation in Lesbos could deteriorate. With so many new arrivals, the housing capacity of the camp is decreasing more and more. They started to use also the drop holes, which are huge tents where people are living together in smaller rooms, where the hygiene conditions are a lot worse than in the other housing units. And uh, there is no AC, no fan, so it is really hot inside as well. The NGO workers report that some refugees here don't have enough to eat in the camp. They say every week over 400 people pick up food packages at the center. In May, the Greek Migration Ministry decided that the camp will no longer feed people whose asylum requests are not currently being processed. This is a way uh, to encourage people to leave the camp faster so that there is more space for the new arrivals since the camp capacity is limited. For us, the most important thing is to provide a sense of community, a sense of belonging to the people. It is really important to make them feel humanized and seen in a context which makes them feel constantly like numbers, constantly like their rights don't count, their lives don't count. They are just described as an invasion, as a flow, as a flux, as numbers, but not as actual people. Emmanuel Lojang started learning to play guitar on Lesbos. He hopes that if he gets asylum in Europe, he can finish his studies. He might even try to go into politics. Music helps Lojang to keep up his spirits, he says. He wants the lyrics to his songs to give comfort and courage to his fellow migrants, to all those stuck waiting for asylum in Europe.
من زمان تا تو جا انشالله خلوشی بکن خواست من نو کندیسون است پامانت دونت تین دونت تین تو مچ ایفری تین است هاین تایم سو اف دی تایم کم ایفری تین ول بی فاین